Hello everybody, welcome again to Mark's Remarks. Today, as I'm sure you uh, probably figured out by the title, I'm going to be having steak and eggs for my dinner. It's about half eleven at night, so I'm going to eat this before I go to sleep. Uh, steak and eggs. Now, I'm going to be using the British beef rump steak. Now, as you can see, this is a nice piece of meat. There's uh, there's only a little bit of uh, fat, which I'll eventually eventually cut off, but there's a lot of meat here. It, uh, I don't think it's... Oh, well, 230 grams. Now, I don't know how much this would normally cost, because I got it from the shop of the warehouse that I'm, uh, you know, temporarily stationed in. So I don't know what the original price is. Sometimes they put the shop price on it. But I can tell you that they put the price on upside down. It's one pound twenty-five pence. I bought this steak, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have this now. As for the eggs, I figure anybody can you know eat eggs, but today I uh, also from the shop fifty-five pence for these four eggs. And again, they've put the price tag over um, some of the words, but I think it's tradition. I've got two boxes. The other one is traditional is the word that's covered. Traditional um, breed pullet. Traditional breed pullet eggs. Now, the interesting thing is, I'll open them up. Tilt down slightly. There you go. Now, there's some brown eggs. Some very, very brown eggs. Browner than a... But... Now, these eggs are the unusual thing. They're sort of, uh, I don't know, greenish? I don't know, turquoise? Somebody write in the comments, would you, if you can tell what colour that is. I think it's turquoise. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using those. That'd be something interesting. So I'm going to have four eggs with this steak, and uh, it's going to be done on the George Foreman grill. Now, these things are not easy to get into, but I finally managed it. There we are. I've had the George Foreman grill heating up for the last five minutes. Now, that is one nice looking piece of steak. Let right, me tell you. Um, I'm hoping it'll cook through because the George Foreman grill doesn't always cook it in the middle if, it, if, the, if the meat is too thick. But uh, if it doesn't, I'll just butterfly it. Okay, so onto the grill. Lid down. And we'll leave it to do its thing. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the eggs. Now, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much uh, the eggs, uh, the, the, the shell that is a colour. I, I don't think it affects the um, colour of the egg. But we'll see. Nope, it's just the colour of the shell. Uh, okay. So I'm going to, actually these eggs, I mean they, they are, they, as you can probably tell by the shell, the, the size of the shell, they are pretty small. But I'm going to put all four in there. Yeah, it'd be interesting, I'm, I mean I've never had a, a blue egg, a, a blue shell on an egg before, but it's all to, to, to do with the, uh, the breed. Of the chicken okay so uh, two or three minutes before the steak is cooked fully I'll start cooking the eggs okay I'm gonna go check on the uh, check on the meat looking pretty brown yeah what I think I'll do is uh, I'll give it another couple of minutes and then I'm gonna butterfly the, the steak so it cooks on the inside just another two or three minutes. Yeah, that'll do it. It's a knife. Now, as you can uh, see, it's uh, it's looking pretty brown on each side, but I want it to be brown on the inside, which is. Uh, in fact, what I'll do, I'm just going to trim some of this fat away, just to make it easier. Big piece of meat. 
there we put that back in yeah it's, it's very uh very raw i can see in the middle so the trick is here to butterfly this in fact i'll do this camera right that wasn't easy but i managed to i what I did i cut the steak in half and then down the center okay so i'm going to be putting the uh yeah i tell you these george foreman grills i mean they're very hyped but if you want well done then you've got to make sure the meat is very thin you know Which I don't go for that medium rare stuff. There you go. So, all back on the grill. Give it some more minutes. Right, I'm going to give the uh, grill a look. There you go. That's looking nice and brown. It's looking good. In fact, I'll I'll give it a few more minutes and I'll use that time to that's a bit with a fat on it. I'll use that time to uh, cook the eggs, I think. By the time the eggs are done, that should be perfect. Okay, the eggs will uh, need a little bit of uh, vegetable oil. I'm going to put the heat up to nine for the moment, just to get the oil heated. And then uh, when it's ready, possibly turn it down to eight. Okay, I think it's ready. Time to pour the eggs into the pan. I'm going to do it slowly. In fact, it looks like the pan wasn't quite hot enough as I thought it was. But that's fine. I'm going to heat it up slowly. And uh, that way hopefully there'll be runny eggs. Alright, it's on 9. I'm going to uh, leave it on 9 for the time being. Yeah, the eggs are, eggs are coming along quite nicely. I've got a, a non-stick frying pan over here, which I've had for a little while. I don't use it very often, but it's great for uh, cooking eggs. You know, so you don't have to scrape it off the pan. But uh, in, a, in a moment or two, I'm going to flip this over because it's still, because uh, it's on 9 out of 12. It's on a fairly, you know, over halfway heat. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, to get all the slimy bits cooked. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn these over, and they're, they only need less than a minute to be flipped over, just to cook the, uh, the top side. Okay, while that's doing, I'm going to... Plate up all the, the steak. Very nice. Okay. And then plate up the eggs. Yeah, they've gone, uh, they're not exactly runny. It's very difficult to get them perfect, perfect runny egg. But uh, let's give it a taste test now. Okay, let's go for the steak. The steak I can taste is 
fairly dry. It, um, that's the thing, if you're going to do it well done, you've got to have it, you know, it's going to be slightly dry. I'm interested about these eggs because they, they look a lot, when I was cooking them, the two of them looked a lot more orange than uh, the other two. I wonder if they were the blue ones. Hmm. They taste good though. The uh, Yeah, they're free range, of course. Four small free range pullet eggs. Now these I'm going to be, uh, oh, the other four I'll cook in, a, in another, with another bit of steak probably. But um, all in all, very nice. It's, uh, um, this, this particular stuff, mind you, this was rump steak. I've got sirloin in the fridge. I've got a few of those. We definitely do with some ketchup, I think. Mm. Well, in all, a very nice evening meal. Could do maybe some beans and that to give it some moisture. Or some gherkins. Well, that'd be good. Mm. We put a little bit of salt on the uh, uh, on the eggs. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, if I was to uh, do this in a frying pan, I don't. I've never done that. In, I don't think. But the the hot air fryer, I've done them in, and it comes out pretty much the same. But as you saw, if you've got a thick bit of meat, you've got to cut it down in the centre. Otherwise, the George Foreman grill's got no chance of cooking it in the middle. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a long video, 12 and a half minutes. But um, they are steak and eggs with blue shelled eggs. Thank you very much for watching and good night.